Hey everyone and welcome back to No Man's Sky. On this video, we are going to craft the warp cells that we need to exit the solar system, activate that warp drive, and uh, when we get into the new system, we should find a monolith from Atlas, who is sort of the mysterious entity that's been driving events forward in the game. Alright, so I need warp cells, so let's go ahead and craft that. I should have everything I need. So let's see, I've got this suspension fluid. The first thing I need to do is craft uh, an electron vapor. So it needs suspension fluid and plutonium. I've got both of those. So let's craft that. And now from that electronic vapor, I'm going to make a warp cell. Or no, I'm going to make antimatter. Which is going to take an electronic vapor, 50 heridium, and 20 zinc. So let's build that. And then from the antimatter, I can make a warp cell. So there we go, let's craft that warp cell. And I'm actually going to need two. So it, the objective is actually craft warp cells, it's plural. So I'm going to need two. Um, and actually I just realized I only have one suspension fluid so let me buy another off of the uh, galactic trade terminal so let's see I want to buy items and uh, suspension fluid oh good he's only got one that's all I need though I just need one all right so let's craft that other warp cell so um, let's go to my exosuit that has inventory space Let's craft the electron vapor again, suspension fluid plus plutonium. And then I need antimatter, electron vapor, heridium, and zinc. And then I can make the warp cell, but I need thamium 9. Well, easiest way to get that is from the uh, from space. So let's go up to space. And, um, do I need to charge anything on my ship? Nope, ship's good to go. Alright, let's get in there. So let's take off. And into space we go. Into the green, awesome looking space. And here we go. So we can blow these up for Thamium 9. I don't, I don't remember how much I needed, but it shouldn't take me long because these give quite a bit of it. And that, actually, that's probably good. So let's um, let's see if that's enough. Exosuit, craft, and we can make that second warp cell. So there we go. And objective is complete. Now let me just give it a minute uh, to get everything all updated just in case. It screws up because I had that happen at the beginning of the game and I'd rather not have to recraft anything. So let's just kind of chill while it uh, does whatever it's going to do. Okay, that went away. And okay, now it wants me to fuel it, which is what I was going to do anyway. So let's fuel it with the warp cells. There we go, it's fueled up, and uh, now it wants me to activate the hyperdrive. Alright, so we're back on the galactic map, and we uh, are on our path towards the galactic core. So let's just continue on that path by going down the orange line. And that's going to take us to Jimino Ineteros 9. So that's where we're going. Let's do it. Let's warp. And the awesome light beam of warp travel. I didn't I didn't actually look at how many light years were traveling this time. I don't think it was many, just like the last one. Maybe like uh maybe like uh 20 or so. We're still like some 
insane distance from the galactic core so I don't know if things are gonna start speeding up later on or if, if the game is really just that freaking long we're, we're gonna have to find out but as of right now we're making very small increments towards that center and oh look at this system that planet looks gigantic and quite uh, different than other ones we've experienced all right, so it wants us to do a starship scan. Let's do that. And there we go. The alien monolith is detected. The Atlas. Find us, hear us. So where is it? It is on that planet over there. So let's head on over. Activate that pulse drive. And we're gonna be there in 54 seconds at the planet Okayashiras. Okay, how far is that? 700 KS? That's supposed to be... I don't know what KS is. I don't understand these units. Unless it's just kilometers, but I thought kilometers was KM, so KS must be something else. Actually, it's definitely not kilometers because this is way, way too long for, for kilometers. Wasn't really thinking. Must be a space unit I'm unfamiliar with. I have a basic knowledge of space, but um, definitely a lot I don't understand, that's for sure. And alright, here we go. Oh, look at this! It's a water world! Oh wow, this is like mostly ocean. Check this out. Or am I just over a lake? No, this looks like mostly ocean. Well, maybe it's a lake. Either way, there's a lot of water here. Alright, let's zoom on over to this monolith. Where's my boost? There it is. So it's, uh, what, 36 seconds out? 35? Yep. Alright, so about half a minute. Man, this planet looks cool. I'm, I'm really happy that I'm not getting sort of the same environments over and over again, because that could certainly happen. Um, so really really nice that I've been lucky enough to uh, get very different looking planets and this uh, this world's got some floating rocks I always love the anti-grav stuff oh, whoa, 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 whoa. here we go there's our monolith we're looking for let's uh, find a spot to park the ship I think this will be fine right here yep there we go Store points saved. We are on the forest planet. Weather, light shower, sentinels frenzied. Flora absent. I didn't see what Fauna said. High security planet. Endangered resources likely. Sentinels will attack on sight. That's not good. I better be prepared for those guys. Okay. Uh, let's use the knowledge stone. Let's learn something. And uh, we'll learn the Gek word for element. So we're back to learning Gek things. We learned the Gek word for demand. And we also learned the Gek word for work shy, which is an odd word. All right, let's check out this monolith. The Muiamic landmark. The monolith stands silent on the planet's surface. It does not belong here. Neither do I. There is a shimmer, and then the vision on the red orb returns. The Atlas. It speaks to me again. Again, I feel the half elation, half terror that I have met my creator. The Atlas offers me guidance, purpose, meaning, significance in an uncaring galaxy. All I must do is follow its path and its orders. Uh, so I guess I believe the Atlas's promise because I want to continue the storyline. I don't know if I necessarily do, but that'll continue things. I see the lines of code, strings and numbers, then a bizarre structure. I feel sure conviction that great power awaits me if I travel to this distant place. The red orb disappears and I am left with a path to follow. And it gave me a warp cell, so that's cool. And uh, it wants me to ascend to the star, so just exit orbit, but I don't want to do that yet. I'm on this cool new planet 
and I want to explore a little bit. So that continues on our path, but we're not ready for that yet. So let's check out this planet. Oh, this planet has no life. No life at all, what? But there's so much water and everything. Well, maybe we will, uh, oh, what is that? All right, well, we got something new at least. Let's check this out. Let's explore at least a little bit because I've never been and I could probably use some more resources. I don't, well, I may as well get some carbon. I don't know if I need it, but I may as well get it. I'm really, I don't know what those green things are and I want to figure out what that is. Let's see, scanner, what are you picking up? All right, there's some zinc. I know I need zinc. If I could find a deposit of heridium, that would be good, because my heridium stash is getting quite low at this point. So let's grab that zinc. And green thing is over here. So what are you, green exclamation mark? What secrets do you hold? Huh. Oh. Gravitino ball? What is this? Oh. I can pick it up. Oh, the Sentinels didn't like that. Oh, crap. What is that? That's a new type of Sentinel. Oh, that's my beam. I want my bolt caster. There we go. That is a scary looking Sentinel. What is up with this? I don't like this situation at all. Let's get rid of the flying ones first. Because I know for a fact that they call in help. And I don't want them to have any help. They've got enough firepower as it is. Okay, he's down. Now can I get this, this dude? He's rough. Looks like he's at half health though. I don't know why his health bar is like not showing over his head. Oh, that barrel fell. All right, let's get the barrel up here first. All right, Sentinel Force deactivated. That's exactly what I want to hear. Picked up the Neutrino module. Probably just going to get rid of that. Milestone accomplished, probably for killing Sentinels. Yep, destroyed 20 Sentinels. That's what did it. Grab that. Oh, crap. Is that another one? No! This planet has so many sentinels. Alright, get rid of him. Is there another one? Oh, I don't know how long I want to stay on this planet. This is getting pretty rough. I don't know if I want to stick around in this place. It looks so peaceful, but these sentinels have, like, taken over. Uh, got a technology I already had. And did I check this one? I didn't, but also technology I already had. And I think there was one more barrel that flew down over here. Yep, there it is. And also technology I have. So I've got so much technology now, it's hard to find something that I don't already have. And uh, those green things, I assume those are just going to be Gravitino balls like the last one. Oh! I think the game froze on me. Uh, Alright, I will uh, cut to uh, the game working again. Alright, we had some technical difficulties there, but I'm back. Game ended up freezing on me, which... Uh, has not happened before, so uh, that's not uh, that's not normal. Don't uh, don't worry, the game doesn't break on you all the time. Uh, but did for me right there. But we're back in action. I had to uh, repeat the things that I just did because I didn't have a restore point. Um, so I just went and killed some sentinels, picked up some zinc, and uh, pretty much exact exact copy of uh, what I did before. So I picked up some more zinc there, and I'm back at my starship now. 
And uh, this planet is quite hostile. I barely went anywhere and sentinels were all over me. And there's another one right there. So this is not a safe planet at all. Um, so there's really no reason to linger here. Let's uh, upload this system and this planet. I'm okay with both names. And uh, don't forget, even if your planet has no life, definitely upload it because you'll get credit for having found all of the species, even though there's none. So we're gonna upload that, get our zero credits, but we will, uh, we should get a milestone, I believe. So I think uh, three planets fully uh, discovered, or all species on a planet discovered, is indeed a milestone. And it looks that, looks like it is. Analyst discovered all species on four planets, so I completely forgot that this is the fourth and not the third. And let's see, I think the next milestone is gonna be probably, probably a five, because it's been going up one at a time. Yep, so uh, our next milestone for uh, planet zoology scanned is going to be an, on the fifth planet that we uh, complete. Alright, well, we've pretty much done everything here. We interacted with the uh, monolith for the atlas, and now it wants us to go into the stars. So we'll be doing that in the next video. But that's going to do it for this one, so thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.